I am Missy Merlou, and of course, you should recognize her by now, our very own celebrity chef, yes, Chef Flo, Wild Fresh Chef Flo, Chef to the Stars, excuse me, let me get it right. <laughs> All right, okay, she's here again, as you know, it is Wednesday, it's Food and Health Day, and uh, today, Chef Flo is going to be showing us how to make canapes, yes. right? Um, hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to another Wednesday cooking with uh, Chef Flo on Food and Health Day. Mm -hmm. um, today, I decided to simplify things okay. even further. All right, okay. <laughs> and then today, we're going to do some interactive cooking. So today, Hi. I'm just going to be chilling. And I'm going to be telling Missy oh. what to do. Yay. <laughs> and she's going to do the hard work today and she's going to be cooking. Okay. Uh, well, cooking, putting together what we're having today. Fabulous. So today we decided to go with canapes. Mm -hmm. Now, canapes are little bites. So anything little, you can just pop into your mouth. Okay. So ideally, a canapé should not be bigger than the size bite of your size. mouth. A bite yes. size, okay. Um, you know, you go to places and they have these big things and it's very difficult to eat mm -hmm. but canapes are supposed to be very easy finger food um for parties uh, cocktails and um just you know just having friends around you can just have you know cocktails okay and it's um again like the smoothies it's um what you feel like so you let your taste you let your palate dictate you um so the things that you really have to work with is your base okay so you can have um so today we have uh cookies or when i say cookies we have oat cakes actually yummy um as a base um so today that's what we'll be using up uh, as our base and missy will be creating different versions uh -huh. um for us to have today and then we have different toppings um that you can use of course so we have salad leaves we have um chicken we've got tomatoes onions spring onions onions mm -hmm. and then we've got mango okay and then today I also brought two types of cheeses. Okay. Well, one type of cheese and a hummus base as well. All right, okay. So as I said, it's very simple. So it's like whatever you have in your cupboard, you can put together and you can create a canopy. And we're also going to do some uh, cocktail uh, stick ones as well. Okay. So basically... Uh -huh. I'm also going to show you another way of serving the canapes. Oh. So I think we'll do that first. Yeah, sure. Right, let's okay. do that. Let's do that. But quickly, yes. I just wanted to ask a question. You know how you said canapes are bite size. Right, now, right. so when you go for a cocktail party mm -hmm. or a dinner and they're serving canapes yeah. first, should you just take the canapé and just stick it straight into your yeah, mouth? It's or the whole purpose of a canapé is mm -hmm. one bite. Okay. So it's supposed to be something you can just easily pop into, pop your, into mouth. your mouth. And, you know, it's supposed to be really easy to eat, elegant, just have your cocktail, um, a napkin, and it's something you can just easily put, put in your mouth. Okay, so it's not really something you sort it's of not really have a like bite, have, yeah. have a chat, have no, a bite. No, 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 okay. no, no. All right, it's just okay. one bite. So you can have many little things on your plate mm -hmm. and have many little bites. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> okay. So it's an easier way to eat more, uh -huh. but, you know, still less. Uh -huh. You know, so you have many varieties, but... You know, a smaller amount. Many varieties, smaller amount. Exactly. Healthier, yes. wiser yes. eating. And then when Wonderful. you create your own canopies, mm -hmm. you can actually control what you eat. So you can use more healthy things. Like today, we have a lot of fresh vegetables. Okay. And um, we can use that. And um, we can you can also try and use more of our local things. So I have chicken, mm -hmm. but you can do like smoked guinea fowl, shredded. Okay. Um, you can do things like, what else is... Um, goat meat. So goat meat. Yes, yes, goat meat. You can have like asun style. Oh yeah. Yeah. Chopped into little pieces. Oh yeah. And that can go on a little cracker or um, we all can also do. You can also do toast. Mm -hmm. um, so what you do is you get your bread, mm -hmm. you toast it, and then use little size cutters to cut them out, and then you oh, use that as a base for your canapes. Lovely. And you can even use that to make it interesting for, like, your yes, children you as can, well, right? Exactly, because it's Wonderful. A, a, a very easy way to do, like, kids' snacks as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you have a whole bunch of kids coming over to your house, you can make little things for them. And also, as I said, you can use vegetables um, as a base for the mm -hmm. canapes, which is what we're going to do now. Mm. So I have a cucumber. Yes. So what I'm just going to do mm. is just cut it okay. sort of into, say, one inch. How did you measure that? Because <laughs> I don't have measuring sticks. Okay. But it taught me in school that yes. like your the top of your finger is, a, is, is an inch. inch? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So that's how we basically just figure out what an inch is. Okay. So it might be bigger or smaller. Right. Uh, okay. 
So what I want you to do, I'm going to show you mm -hmm. the first one, is we're going to take the center of the canopy, I mean of the cucumber, and we're going to scoop it all out. So you create like a little receptacle. Yeah? Oh, wow. And then that turns into a container for yeah. your filling. So I'll put that there. And then we can do a different shape. Oops. Sorry. So and you have like that. Uh, yeah, well. and you scoop that. See what out. you're learning. So not all the way to the lessons. Bottom. Yes. Okay, so that's two different types. Yeah. So okay. what I'll do is I'll show you one filling first okay. of how to go about. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put these here. So I love salsa. Okay. Now salsa is like a mix of um, onions and, tom and, and tomatoes and then you can add anything else. So we're going to do a mango salsa. Okay. Okay. So with the mango salsa, you just need a teaspoon. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of onions, a little bit more than a teaspoon because okay. I like onions. <laughs> And I'll put some tomatoes. Yeah. And some mango. Oh, that's mango. Yes, I thought that's it was little yellow pepper. Mango. Okay. Mangoes. So we'll mix that. And I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. It's not normal, but it just gives it a more, you know, something a bit to of hold a kick, it together. Yeah. Yes, to okay. hold it together. So like a binding yes, agent. Yes, a type. binding agent. Okay. In fact, you I know. got I'm, that right. I'm learning, you know, <laughs> the... The, ling the lingua. Lingua franca. Okay. Oh, gosh, I love it. So we'll just mix all that together. <gasps> so I just really like that cheese. That's I'm very excited. Well, son, yeah, yeah, it's oh, a really I good love it. cheese. But you can use any of our um, cheese. So we have, um, it's called, what is our local cheese called, called again? We I have cheese. It. Oh, we have cheese oh. from the north. Yes. We have locally made goat cheese. Oh, okay. And you can use that. You can also use like the Lebanese labna. Yeah. We have as well. You mm -hmm. can use that. Okay. So okay. mix all that together. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is just get our cucumber. You just want to pile that on there. Now, if you if you're having like a party, for mm -hmm. example, can yeah. you? you I'm, I know that you know they're best made fresh, obviously. Mm -hmm. But if you're having like a big party yes. where you're having up to hundred guests, can mm -hmm. you actually make it the night before and put it in the fridge? Yes. What you can actually do is you can make all your um, filling. Mm -hmm. Make it. Uh, sorry. sorry make uh -huh. it the day before. Yes. And you can also do your um, bases the day as before. well. And then just before you your event you can then assemble everything. okay okay so you can put all the components in the fridge uh -huh. keep them to chill mm -hmm. which is you know we call it miss on plus that's putting everything in its place we're teaching you languages miss as well. on plus miss which on means plus. putting everything in its place is yes. your pre-preparation uh -huh. before cooking okay yeah so miss that's what plus. we do okay and then um so you can now i on. go yes Okay, <laughs> so you. but you're gonna guide me. Please guide, guide me because this is you. quite daunting. I know for you, you, it's just like yeah, can it please? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, so you like literally, your cheese. I do like my cheese. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Actually, is it possible? For example, I know you say I can do anything that mm -hmm. I want to. What I'm thinking I want to do now. I want to take this cheese, mm -hmm. right, and I want to put it in a mixing bowl. I okay. love the way these are in like little balls yes, already make it easy to measure you know, exactly let's just you're not wasting too much bit of cheese yeah. and then we've okay, got I some olive enough. oil and tabasco and balsamic vinegar okay oh yeah okay now we can do tabasco okay che okay cheese so, cheese there's chicken. There's chicken, yes. Which is a good combination. So can I just... I've washed my hands. Yes, yes. you can so have can another just spoon. Oh, right, okay, lovely. Thank you. Um, so some chicken and some cheese. Yes. Not too much. You right, and then can I can you do can some peppers. You can use any of the vegetables. So Let me I'll do some, some spring spring onions. onions. Yes. Okay. And if you want some peppers, I can cut some for you. Okay, what's this? That's this tomato. is tomatoes, so you okay. can put some. Do you want tomatoes? Do I want tomatoes? I'm thinking, it's, yeah. It's your choice. This is okay. your. <laughs> it's but Missy I want it to look pretty. Missy. Can, I have, can I have some um, yellow pepper? pepper? Okay. So I'll cut and while you do that, <laughs> um, I will just um, mix up, you know, 
as we do and as i said it's no hard and fast rule it's just about you look for me cooking oh, is about having fun cheese, yeah. it's just enjoying yourself and just going with what you have and you know and you don't want one and sorry sorry Go ahead. i'm sorry no um you don't want any one ingredient overpowering yes, the other yes. right well it depends because on you I mean, some people like, like I love garlic. Uh -huh. So a lot of times I do sort of go quite Overboard. heavy on garlic. Okay. Um, but that's for me. Mm -hmm. But if I'm cooking for people, I try to um, just use everything in moderation so that you don't overpower flavors and taste. Okay. Yeah. So, so now I've done that. So I'm just going to grab yep. a um, oat cookie, mm -hmm. right? And just spread it on. Spread it on. So put that on there like that. And then make it look nice and pretty. Yes. Doesn't and then just put pretty. it on the. People. So and then okay. And then you can put some more of the like some tomatoes oh, yeah. on top. Okay. Okay. So do this. Put this there, and then grab some tomatoes. And make it look nice and pretty. Voila. Exactly, and you have a canopy. And okay. then to even go further, if you want okay. to just decorate it a little more, you uh -huh. can take your peppers. Uh huh. And just we chiffonade, just little strips, oh. <laughs> or julienne actually, oh. <laughs> just little pieces. Uh -huh. So I would do two little pieces, and just put them on top. I need to take a picture of this one canopy right here. This is the canopy I've and created. You have a canopy, Missy Canopy. Okay. This is what and it's called. And then we can do. Miss Can, Miss Can, Miss Canopy. Oh my God, I love it! I mean, take a simple. picture, take a picture, somebody. Yeah, okay. And then we also have little cocktail sausages, uh -huh. which I'm going to cut in half. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it on a stick. So we have sausage, then we have fresh tomato. Gosh, this is fun, though. I mean, cooking. That is, is what it should though. be. It should be fun. You should enjoy it. You should be able to call people into your kitchen and just create and just have as much fun as you want we have fresh produce you know can put a little some vegetables vegetable on there leaves on wow we have that. this is so nice and it's so oh. fresh it's fresh <laughs> everything no because fresh, here's here's simple. here's the thing now for example you've made one i've made one and then there's another one you've made basically and they look so beautiful yeah and really. then you just can keep on going so like okay so let's make a mix with hummus now okay. for example so yeah should i yeah what are we doing with this one okay, okay. Put this there. Yeah. so so we have some hummus which is readily available in most supermarkets in lagos can we use this the cover? yes you can like that, yeah Hummus is everywhere. Hummus is literally because of our Lebanese community, we yes. have a lot of hummus, mm. and it's delicious. If you've never tried it, let me just grab a little bit of that. Okay, so we do hummus, and then you can and use your we do vegetables. Should we do vegetables okay, first? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Definitely. I'm gonna use some spring onions again, and I'll use some onions. I mean, so as you see, she's just creating from all the I'm stuff that we have here. And then... Uh, no hardened stuff. Maybe you want let's to Let's do some crab this Okay, summer. we've got some crab sticks. So they're filled crab sticks. Okay. Oops, sorry, let me... Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's so it. should I mash it all up or you should can, I... Can, or you I'm can thinking I should mix on top. And then put the... Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, have your so I'll mix the bottom part. Let me just move this over. Let me show you. I'm mixing, mixing... Mixing doesn't Mixing. look like it's going to be enough. <laughs> it will. Okay. Once you put it on your biscuits, it should be enough. All right. Yeah. And then biscuits. here we go. Correct oh, stuffing too. All right. So and we're excited. Just put your little crab cake on top. Ta da! We have another one. Missy cans too. Mi <laughs> <laughs> Missy can cook. <laughs> Missy can cook, yes. Missy can cook. Oh, wow. And, you know, as I okay. said, we've also got, and then depending on your taste uh -huh. and your, your palate, again, as I said, we've got black pepper. Yes, let's do that. Okay, yes. let me do the black pepper on the crab, like right here. Yes. That's it. And all of, uh, you know how the chefs like to decorate their... We do love black uh -huh. pepper. <laughs> and, you know, you can just keep on. Like, I can even use, I can turn this. Do one more for here. Okay, all right, okay. So let me see. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? 
Hmm. Okay. I like cheese as well. Sorry. So I'm going to use my cheese, mm -hmm. but I'm going to go very. <coughs> I'll get Sorry. that. It's all right. Apologies. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go very simple and do sort of very classic cheese and tomato. So just cheese and tomato. And what I love about using vegetables is just the vibrancy of color and just how beautiful without adding any, you know, extra anything. Mm -hmm. You just get so much color. So I'll add some more tomato on that just to make it pop. Okay. So that's there. And already we've got five, one, three, four, five canapes. All different in flavors. Less than five. Ten minutes. Did we take up to ten minutes? How many minutes? Ten, like minutes. Five, ten minutes. Ten minutes. And I know that the budget for this was, I mean, for everything, mm -hmm. was probably, and that's just because I really went yeah. to town and bought different things. But as I said, if you have things at home, like you can have, use um, leftover chicken. Yes. You can use uh, rice. Okay. So you have your boiled rice. You can mash it. Mm -hmm. You can put some other things in it and put it on top of a canopy. You can, as I said, your toast. Mm -hmm. So you make little shapes out of the toast and use it as a base of a canopy. We have the cucumber. You can use um, cherry tomatoes. So you have your cherry tomatoes. Yes, that's true. Scooped out. Yes. They can go on the sticks as well. I mean, you can just knock yourself out. I mean, people charge a lot for canopies, but that's when you're using more things like uh, pastry. Okay. And you're actually, because to make little um, volivants and canopy mm -hmm. um, pastries, are, it's, it's a lot of work. Yes. So that's why it costs more. But for simple things like this at home, mm -hmm. where you just have friends coming over and you're just having a good time, use what's in your cupboard. Don't spend too much money. Yeah. Have fun in the kitchen. Cook fresh vegetables fresh ingredients use different assortments of oils and spices and cheese and just have fun Fantastic. in the kitchen nothing hard nothing fast i mean people think that being a chef is hard work it is when you're working in the environment mm -hmm. but cooking is all about fun it's all about relaxing and it's all about for me it's all about family and friends and just having a good time Fabulous. Stop your face. Yes, yeah, Chef, I was going <laughs> to do my son's first birthday. Yay. Okay. So let me just ask you a quick question. Yes. With the oils, mm -hmm. like the balsamic vinegar, yeah. the Tabasco mm -hmm. and whatnot. So, yeah. for example, the way I mixed yes. this already, then you would just sort of drizzle. Okay. What I would do mm -hmm. is like if I had the tomato, onions, and spring onions, and the mango, mm -hmm. I could add a bit of the olive oil. Okay. Now, I could also add a bit of the balsamic vinegar yeah. because it just gives a bit of acidity. Mm -hmm. It kicks it up and just gives it a bit of a lift. Mm -hmm. And you just need a little bit. You don't need a lot of, of it course, inside. Yeah. So you just mix it all together and you can still do the same thing. Um, and that could go in one of these instead of on the flat base. Okay. For that, you would need something creamy mm -hmm. for the flatter bases. But you could okay, actually for the flatter just do, bases, yes, you, you could actually you do suggest, a salsa okay. as well. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorites is um, grilled prawns. So little Greek gil um, grilled prawns with a salsa base and that on top, like a spicy prawn, and that could be a canopy as well. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's just a one bite thing. So it's just something you can just clip it in your mouth and you could probably show us. Wonderful. Put one in your mouth. That's <laughs> Which one shall I have? Which one do you want? Oh, your creation? One, yes. Oh no, I need to take a picture first. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try another one, <laughs> shall we? So the crab. We'll try the crab one with the hummus. And so literally just stick just it in your mouth. In your mouth. Right? Yep. Mm. One bite. Don't talk yet, but <laughs> it's one bite. And that's the whole purpose. Can you talk now? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> but it did go in one bite. You mm. didn't have to take like two bites. But mm, delicious. <laughs> and that is just simple ingredients without adding adding anything more. No mm. added salt. No, you know, so just have fun cooking. Mm. Cook, 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 cook. Mm. <laughs> so hopefully we'll see you again mm. next week. You do that. <laughs> so from us here at Pulse TV on Food and Health on Wednesdays, we'll see you next week Wednesday. Peace. <laughs> and she's still eating. <laughs>